Hey everyone, Gary with Sinlaw Backyard Chickens here. And you know, when I was a boy growing up in Dry Creek, our chickens had 20 acres plus uh, to free range on. Inevitably, they seemed to like the yard more than they liked anything. And from that, to much to my mother's chagrin and dismay, they liked the front porch as well. And of course, we all know what chickens like to do when they're on your front porch. But one of the things they would do in our yard is they would dig holes and they would wallow in these holes for just all, all the time. And I really never knew what was going on as a boy. Probably was a, a young teenager when somebody finally said, yeah, this is how our chickens take a bath every day. And this bath helps clean them, keeps them safe and healthy, and all that kind of stuff. Well, today we call this a dust bath. And this is very important for the bird's health, their overall well-being, and it even relieves stress. And dust baths are made to kill these parasites, lice and mice and different things that, that get on your birds. This is something that is needed year round for them. If you live in a northern climate, this is coming on winter this time of the year, you may have snow on the ground and your birds can't dust bath out there. Uh, over here in Louisiana, winter is usually our wet time of the year, so it's hard to make a dust bath whenever it's wet. Dust, uh, you know, we need dust to do that. So I keep a dust bath year round inside my chicken run and it actually goes under my chicken coop, which is a couple of feet off the ground and it stays 100% dry doing that. The birds always have access to dust bath. This is something you need to do for them year round. And if you're a seasoned chicken keeper, you know this, but if you're just getting into chickens, this is something you may want to consider. What we can do nowadays is we can create our own dust bath with the ingredients that we want for the birds to make it even more effective for them, for, to make what we do for them last longer, make it more healthy for them, more able to kill insects and bugs and mites and lice and things like that and even smell better for the chickens to do it. So I'm going to give you a list of ingredients in the way that I like to do a dust bath. So stay tuned. I'll get going. So obviously to create a dust bath, ingredient number one is always going to be dirt. If you can't, don't have access to dirt, don't have a place to go get it, uh, you can go to the hardware store or, or the home store, pick up dirt. What you want to make sure of, so many bags of soil that you get, even if they say topsoil, are going to have a lot of sticks in them. And sticks are not good. Your birds are not going to dust bathe in something that they always get poked in with small twigs and sticks. So if you have to get that stuff, make sure that you sift through it. And, uh, I created my own sift right here. This is just a screen. Uh, it's, this is quarter inch hardware cloth and I attached a wood frame to it to make it good, nice and strong. And this way that I can sift through my dirt, make sure that I don't have sticks and what have you in it. The next ingredient is wood ash. Uh, and this is ashes out of our fireplace. We burn firewood. So if you don't have access to that, maybe you have a neighbor that does and can give you some ashes out of the fireplace. Uh, the last thing you, you can possibly do is, is actually buy some good Kingsford that is all natural charcoal. And you can burn that charcoal down into a pile and have your own ash. Just be forewarned, if you use barbecue charcoal, uh, your chickens are come out, gonna come out already smelling like barbecue chicken, so kind of be aware that you're gonna have this. And then we use diatomaceous earth, and there's a lot of things that people worry about with diatomaceous earth, but it's really not as scary as, as, as you think. Uh, diatomaceous earth is the fossilized remain of tiny little aquatic organisms called diatoms. And, and, and they lived and died and, and reproduced and all that over eons of time. And their skeletal remains are known as silica. And silica is one of the most common minerals that we have here on this planet. Uh, they make up 26% of the earth's crust by weight. Uh, we have two different types of diatomaceous earth that we use, uh, food grade and non-food grade. They both contain the uh, crystalline silica, which is not the really good kind that you want, but small amounts of it. But the level of filtration is what makes the difference. And the food grade uh, diatomaceous earth is, is, is exactly that. It's food grade. And you can actually use it in cattle feed and, and animal feed, stuff like that. And it's a lot healthier all around. So that's what we want to use for our birds as well. Also, we put in there uh, some sand. I like to use fine sand, so I will go to the uh, hardware store, to a Lowe's, Home Depot, someplace like that, and just pick up a big 50-pound uh, sack uh, of the play sand. And that 50-pound bag will last me most of the year whenever I use it. I mean, it really, really goes a long way. So now, we're going to put all this stuff together for y'all, and we're just going to make us a nice dust bath for our chickens. So, we have the dirt in right here. 
My next is going to be the wood ash that I put in. Now, I don't have specific amounts that I use, okay? You can just look at it and see what looks good when you mix it up. If you want more, you want less, use that. I don't have, you know, I'm going to use so many scoops of this or so many scoops of that. But I also want to use uh, my, my uh, screen on wood ash because not all the bark is going to cook down whenever you have it. So I put that on here and you can look and see and look, look right here. This is the bark that's left over. I don't want that. Don't want that at all to be in there with, with my birds and they're not gonna like it either. So we'll sift that. That's a couple of scoops right there. Look at that, that big old piece right there. Birds are not gonna like this. So we get to sift all that good stuff out. So now I'm not gonna need this anymore. Next, I'm gonna add the sand. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing how much I think I want, you know? And whenever I stir it up, if it doesn't seem like it's sandy enough, I'll put more sand. If it doesn't seem like it's got enough ash in it, I'm gonna put more ash. So, I mean, this is all subject to what you think looks good and you'll learn over time. Then we get to the food grade, diatomaceous earth. I'm gonna put that in there, and again, that's about a pretty decent scoop that, that I have. And then now we get to start mixing all this stuff up. And you'll see my earth is, uh, my dirt is gonna turn from a real hard, dark, dark brown to almost a gray color, and that's kind of what I look for. And I look for something that's easy for the birds to sift through. And if I like it, Generally, they're going to like it as well. And you can see all of my ingredients are starting to come into play here. And I keep this for them year round. Now this much right here, probably going to last, you know, half the winter. You know, it, it's, it, it lasts pretty good. I like a big container to put it in because the smaller the container the easier it is for them to kick it out because they're going to scratch in here they're going to dig themselves a little hole in here they're going to shake rattle and throw use their feathers you know and dust is going to fly and dust needs to fly because it's going to get all up inside uh, their feathers and their skin it's going to help keep the oil out help keep all those insects down and look at here starting to get a lovely dust bath just with that little bit of work right there, there's a little chunk. You want to keep it ground up. And of course, like so many of us do, I spoil my birds as well. I put some of this right in here. And this is a botanical bath is what they call it. It's got some essential oils. It's got peppermint in it. Uh, it it's, it's got some uh, diatomaceous earth in it as well. It's got other, uh, you know, essential oils and, and stuff. And it's, you know, just kind of fancy. And I'll put a couple of scoops of this in and it helps them smell nice and you can just kind of sprinkle that on top right there and just kind of leave it like that next step that you want to do go out and put it in the in the pen so let's go out and do that okay so dust bath is finished we're in the chicken coop you can see here it is right there the girls are already getting curious about it right now and it stays underneath this and look, folks, I'm telling you, it's a lot easier, as I'm sure you know, to prevent illness, to prevent stress, to prevent lice and things than it is to have to deal with these things. So a dust bath goes a very long way in help to prevent that. It makes the chickens happy on top of everything else. And it's not expensive, and it's good for them. So until next time, catch you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.